What's up y'all? Welcome back to my channel and welcome to this week's What's For Dinner video. I'm going to share with you guys what I fed my family of four this past week and also I made a pie so I'm going to share that with you as well. If this is your first time stopping by, hello and welcome. I'm so happy that you clicked on this video and I hope by the time you watch this video you're happy you clicked on it too. <laughs> so if you um, have not subscribed, I hope that you'll consider to do so while after watching this video. I share grocery hauls, meal plans, and cook with me and dinner type videos on this channel every week. All right, let's go ahead and get into it, y'all. All right, guys, we're gonna start this video out with something super easy, hot dogs on the grill. Had a little sickling here. Mr. Harrison was running a fever, so he was needing his mama all day. <laughs> there we have it, delicious. All right, I'm really excited to share this meal with you guys. You may be familiar with this. This is a Mississippi roast in the Instant Pot. Um, my husband asks for this on a regular basis, so I'll leave the recipe down below. First off, I'm gonna go ahead and hit the saute button on my Instant Pot, and we are going to saute both sides of the roast first. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and add in one cup of beef broth. All right, and then now I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle au jus and ranch on both sides. Make sure we get that seasoning all over that big old slab of meat. Alright, so pepperoncinis are next, and the recipe says to add three or four, I think, but, you know, I'm a rebel, so I add what I want. I think I ended up adding like six, seven, ten, I don't know. Alright, now I'm going to go ahead and seal the Instant Pot and make sure that it is on sealing there at the top. And we're going to cook this for 55 minutes with a 20 minute natural release. Meanwhile, I'm gonna go ahead and do some prep work, sides, and also I'm gonna cut up some strawberries here in just a minute. Also, I wanted to share with you guys how I store my strawberries in my refrigerator to keep them from going bad so quick. So after I cut them, I put them in a dish and I like put a paper towel on top of them. And then whenever I'm finished cutting them up, um, or whenever I'm finished with all that, I put the lid on and then I store them in my refrigerator upside down. And that way the water kind of leaks down in there. And then every time I get strawberries out, I just replace my paper towel. Genius. All right, now with the pasta salad, I could have added more like ingredients to this, but I'm just using what I have on hand, which is um, a cheese and pepperoni. All right, you guys, who likes fried okra? Raise your hand. And who wants to do all that work when you can buy it already breaded? Well, sometimes it's worth it. <laughs> all right, time's up on this roast. Let's see how it looks. You guys, it smelled even more delicious than it looks. I'm telling you, it was so good. All right, so I didn't show me making these, but there's not really much to make. I served some Bob Evans mashed potatoes here with this. Those are the best mashed potatoes, you guys. All right, so I had mentioned making this pie in my last um, grocery haul video. I'll link that above here. Um, it's called a Toll House chocolate chip pie, and it is amazing. I have the recipe below, yeah, for you guys down there. First, you're gonna start by whisking two eggs until they are foamy. And then we're gonna add in a half a cup of flour, a half a cup of sugar, and then a half a cup of brown sugar. It's kinda easy to remember. All 
All right, and so this recipe fits right in here because we love butter. Next, I'm gonna be adding one and a half sticks of butter, but make sure that you soften all the way to room temperature because that helps the chocolate chips not fall to the bottom while you're baking it. All right, so it's time to add the chocolate chips. The recipe calls for one cup, but I think a half a cup is better. I just don't like that many chocolate chips. And also, I always use the mini chocolate chips because I have noticed that they spread out better. All right, and I bake this on 325 for about 50 minutes, but let me tell y'all, the middle of it came out not quite done. So I would probably add another 10 minutes to that. All right, does your family like leftovers? Cause well, we sure do. Next night is the same roast with rice and roasted veggies. All right, Tuesday night I made a Mexican beef and rice skillet. And um, there are so many ways that you can serve this. It was so versatile. I will leave the recipe down below for you guys so you can follow along if you decide to do it. But first I'm gonna go ahead and start chopping up these veggies and getting them ready to go in this delicious meal. Do any of you guys have one of these Pampered Chef um, choppers? Because they sure do save me. I have to hide onions and stuff, so I have to make sure it's chopped up real, 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 real good. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and brown this meat and then start getting everything cooking here. I'm going to go ahead next and add in some onion and I decided to not add the, com the whole amount of the onion because like I said, I have to hide onions around here. Hey, there's my spank, my spank spoon. <laughs> That's another multi-purpose kitchen tool there. All right, next I'm going to go ahead and add some garlic and get that moved around in there a little bit. And then I'm going to go ahead and add the peppers here and also I decided not to Add that whole amount. I did take what I did not use and put it in like a Ziploc bag and froze it because I figure I can use it in something else. All right, and then now I'm gonna go ahead and throw in the tomato paste. What is it with tomato paste? I don't use this very often and it was so hard to incorporate in here. Next is gonna be the taco season. I make my own. If you're interested in that recipe, I'll leave it below. And now salt and pepper. And then next, I'm gonna go ahead and add some corn. I had some in my freezer that I needed to use, so I pulled that out. I rinsed and drained the black beans and added those. And then 16 ounces of salsa, and then one can of chicken broth. Next is one cup of uncooked rice. And then get this all mixed up. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut up my cantaloupe because it was ready to rock and roll. And there is nothing in this world better than a ripe cantaloupe. Who agrees? All right, it is done. And I went ahead and I didn't show this, but I put some baked potatoes in my Instant Pot and I served the Mexican skillet in the baked potatoes. The next night, I put that Mexican skillet in these quesadillas that you see here. And we had leftovers again. Hey, I ain't gonna shame in my game. All right, you guys, that is gonna do it for this week's What's For Dinner video. I hope you have enjoyed it and it's been worth your time to watch. If so, go ahead and give me a thumbs up below. Leave me a comment below and let me know if you decide to make any of these Mommy. meals. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.